Franklin K. Lane, the high school surrounded by a cemetery. Half of the school was located in South Ozone Park, Queens, and the other half in East New York. I'd gone to school in Manhattan for a year. There were 500 kids in that school, but I decided that I wanted to be a little closer to home. There were 5,000 kids at Franklin K. Lane. I went to the late shift with kids who they were bussing in from other parts of Brooklyn. And when I first came around, I was wearing my fancy city clothes, my squirrel coat, and my little shoelaces matched the bows on my hat. And sometimes I wore berets, and the black girls in my class would always say, Hey, Bonnie, where's Clyde? Pretty soon I stopped wearing my twiggy-like attire and put on blue jeans. It was the time of the Vietnam War and a lot of teachers taught there so that they didn't have to go. Mr. Tannenbaum was an English teacher and a drummer too. And he used to invite me down to his class to teach protest songs. We were the first school to hang the African flag in the classroom. And I tried to join the Afro-American club. But no, 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 no. You're white, you're white, you're white. One time, thousands of guys came down from the elevated trains with broken bottles in their hands. They were rioting, 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 rioting. Irish Schwartz wore a black beret and he looked like Che Guevara, except he had blonde hair. He lived in Cypress Hills Projects. He wore military boots. He turned me on to Marx and Engels. We started going up to SDS meetings up at Columbia University. The kids in the high ceiling departments where the meetings took place looked like us. But they were different. Bourgeois! Bourgeoisie! B -b 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 Bourgeois! One night, the meeting ended a little later than usual. I asked Irish Schwartz to accompany me home. We took the A train to the last stop in Brooklyn. And when we got to my house, I invited them in. Before I knew it, he had unzipped his pants and pulled out his cock. Not very political. I turned on the light. Cockroaches started crawling out of the dining room table. Dad worked in cockroach-infested buildings, but he'd always yell at Mom when he saw cockroaches. Dad. He was gone a lot now. He was drinking a lot now. Mom was home alone now. Dad. The same guy who always brought his black friends home with him, even when guys on the block would say, You don't bring that nigga around here! He would say, You don't mess with me, I'll bring home whoever I like! Dad. He was singing a different song now. The same guy who thought Franklin Delano Roosevelt was the best president we ever had. Those people on welfare, they should work. They should get a job. I worked my ass off and I still came home and danced with you. Dad, the same guy who sang with me and danced to Johnny Mathis. I had to fight him off with pipes, lazy pigs. Dad. The same guy who built solar systems with me on the bottoms of a lazy Susan turned, turned. I want respect! I work and I want respect! I deserve respect! I earn respect! 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 Dad, the same guy who took us for sleigh rides on refrigerator doors found out that I was against the war. What are you, a communist? Communist! Lazy communist! Don't, don't, 